Hey guys, it's me. One of the good things about being a long-term member on eBay, having lots of sales history, I don't get scammed very often. I know like newer accounts tend to get hit really hard with scammers really fast. On Poshmark, anytime I list something like over $50, I almost instantly get that message saying, hey, I really want this, can you text me at this number? Ignore it, whatever, mark it as spam and move on. Uh, Ruby Lay and I'm new on there. I get a couple random things trying to get me to do transactions off Ruby Lane and especially for the higher priced stuff. So scammers do tend to hit the newer accounts pretty much on any side it seems. Uh, but it's been a while for me on eBay. I have one account with over 4,000 feedback, the other account with 1,400 feedback. That's the account that this one happened on. Uh, so here is my story. This is the package I just got back. It is a return on eBay. I shipped a Steinberg UR22 USB audio digital recording interface to somebody. I know I shipped it out. This buyer said I sent him the wrong thing or I took pictures of the wrong thing and I wrote him back and asked if he could let me know what he received because the only way I could have sent him the wrong thing is if I sent somebody else his thing and nobody else has contacted me so I'm very curious to see what it was that I sent him and if in fact I sent him the wrong item. So, here we go. The item I would have sent him, oh, yeah. So this isn't even my original. I do have teal bubble envelopes right like this, but this is not my original. This came from somebody else entirely, Neil something. Uh, the item I would have shipped him would be bigger than this. And he never got back to me when I responded, which made me suspicious. I went to look at the buyer's feedback and he has like 32 feedback, but he has them private. So, I think he's scamming me. I have no idea what is in this envelope. But I wanted to film it for proof. Ha! Ha ha ha! It's a block of wood. Is that what that is? This, this is funny. This is so funny. So, let's see. Yeah! Looky! Looky there! I got an exercise block. Place block on floor. Walk around it twice. Sit down and relax. Congratulations. Congratulations, you just walked around the block twice. It's got a $5 sticker on it. Never seen it before. I sent him a $75 item and I got this. This is what I got. He's not getting a refund. I don't know what he's expecting, but yeah, this. Seriously. Seriously, this. So naturally, I denied the refund and filed a report uh, saying that I did not get that back the item I was sent. And almost immediately, oh, it was about six hours later, I got this. They reviewed the case and gave the buyer a full refund, taking the money back out of my account for the block of wood that he refunded to me. And here I am smacking my head. I videotaped it. I didn't submit the video because I didn't know how, but I sent them a picture of the item and the label, told them I had a video should they want to see it. So at this point, I'm a little bit frustrated. I posted on a Facebook group I'm in asking if anybody's had that happen and if there's any recourse to try to get my money back or if eBay will even do anything. And they told me to file a police report, which I didn't even know how feasible it would be to do since he was across the country from me. Um, or, and to file an IC3 report, 
which I didn't know about, but that's an internet crime something report that's apparently taken very seriously. So I did both of those things and I reached out to eBay on their Facebook, eBay for Business Facebook page. It took them almost a day and a half, I think, to get back to me, which is a little longer than normal. Uh, but they did apologize and say they would appeal the decision on my behalf. And in the end, I got my money back. Yay, <laughs> small wins. And as of right now, this buyer is no longer a registered user on eBay. So I don't know what happens with the IC3 report or the um, police report. Hopefully something. Hopefully he's learning his lesson. I feel like I did my part to do something good and get this guy off of eBay. So, yay. That's my story. That's how I was scammed. That's how I got my money back. That's how I punished whoever it is that seems to think this was funny. And out of the whole deal... I got myself a free funny block of wood. Yay! Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your craziest scam stories on eBay or, or any other platform and if they were able to be resolved or not. And give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Be sure to come back for more, hopefully no more scams. Bye, everybody.